just flushed two grouse. Didn't even see them. Oh man, I'm not getting down in there. Or are we? They're gone. There's no way you're walking through this old clear cut. Well, that's one of my favorite little trails. Always see grouse in there. And this time I actually flushed two grouse. I never even saw them. That's uh, four grouse today that we flushed. Never even had a chance. But there was uh, tons of bear poop in there. Anyway, off to the next spot. Well, this is getting kind of laughably absurd at this point, you guys. I've been out since basically daylight and I have covered so, so many miles, both in my car and on feet. I haven't seen a single grouse or had an opportunity to grouse. I've just heard a few. It's about 2.30 p.m. and uh, I think all we can do is keep on trying, huh? So off to the next spot. Oh, finally guys, after all day hunting, I finally got my hands on a grouse. Beautiful, beautiful bird. Nice tail feathers there. He's not gigantic, but uh, we'll eat him. Good morning, you guys. We are back at it out here in the foothills of the Cascade Mountains in search of ruffed grouse. Hopefully we can find a couple today to add to the one we already have and we can complete the annual grouse buffalo wing catch and cook. Let's hit it. Man, this looks super grousey in here, you guys. Uh, on both sides of the road, we have like a medium young uh, conifer forest. And then all along the road is a diverse kind of mix of alder and willow and small plants with thick brush uh, along the roadway. Good for hiding, good for flushing back off into the, into the woods. This looks super duper grousey. I'd be surprised if we don't see one in here. I'm also seeing lots of cat poop. So other hunters and predators are what get grouse. Just flushed a grouse. He was around the corner. I didn't actually see quite where he went. It was definitely somewhere right over here. I don't know if he went back into the underbrush or up in a tree. It looked like he flew pretty far. Oh man, you guys. I think I just got a rabbit. It was uh, maybe a 20, 25 yard shot. 
Let's see. Let's see if I can find them. If you are squeamish, now would be a good time to avert your eyes. So here is the rabbit that we got, and we still have that grouse. So I'm going to go find a creek to clean this rabbit up. I like to find a cold running creek. It helps me clean the animal as well as pretty much immediately cool the meat down. So let's go find a creek, get this guy cleaned up. All right, you guys, I drove to an entirely new area. We're much higher in elevation now, uh, almost 3,000 feet. There's a couple places that I wanted to check out, a couple roads I wanted to hunt. Uh, I was going to drive to each of them and then walk down them and hunt them, but the, uh, the road here is blocked. So uh, we're on foot for now. We'll see how far we make it, and uh, hopefully we can run into a couple birds up here. Well, I accidentally hiked all the way to the top of this mountain here. I had no idea there was a trail up to here. And now I am uh, about five miles from the car and it's raining and super windy. Looks like there's a storm moving in and no sign of a single grouse. So let's uh, all ask back to the car and we'll go cook up that grouse and rabbit that we got. I think I know just the spot. Well, that's really random. Didn't think I was gonna run into a group of people way out here in the pouring rain, far from anything. These adventures take me to weird places, you guys. Somebody was camped where we wanted to go originally, so we're gonna do this right here. I am no French chef, you guys, so we're just, we're going basic here. We got a rabbit leg. It's gonna go in seasoned flour, in egg, back into seasoned flour, and then into hot oil. Yeah, buddy, that is looking fantastic. Four rabbit legs and one grouse uh, breasts, whole grouse breasts. I guess it'd be two grouse breasts. Anyway, one grouse, one one rabbit. All right, that is looking done. Perfect. Put all that in a bowl. Now we gotta add the secret ingredient, Frank's Red Hot. Oh, hell yeah. Get it on there. Don't be shy. Whole bottle. Are you effing kidding me, you guys? Look at that. <laughs> that looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. All right, I got everything I need. I got a pack of wet wipes because buffalo wings. And of course, you can't have buffalo wings without a beer. Look at this mm. <laughs> it's so good this is the third annual buffalo grouse trip i've been on and um every time totally worth it eat your heart out kfc mm. crunchy spicy Moist in the middle. You guys, you gotta get out and try this. Rabbit leg. I've never had a buffalo rabbit leg before. Tastes like buffalo rabbit leg. Well, cheers everybody. It's been a really weird adventure. We saw a rave, random group of people out in the middle of the forest. Lots of grouse, missed grouse opportunities. Covered a lot of country, We've probably hiked almost 20 miles in the last two days. So we'll burn off these calories, no problem.
If you want to see a gear list of what I take grouse hunting, click the video link at the end of this video. And if you want to see some of my other backcountry gear, there'll be links down uh, in the description box if you want to go check those out. I am going to finish this and hit the road. It's almost dark and it's raining. Woo! Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you on the next one. Ah!